It's Tuesday, 1.36 p.m., July 17th. I'm going to do a little short guided meditation here. Meditation practice is one of the best remedies for all situations in the chart because Vedic philosophy is very, very serious about <clears throat> the fact that consciousness alone exists. And it is our consciousness that creates all the good and all the bad that we have in our life. And even diseases come, they originally start out in the mind, you know? And so why not get to the root of the problem if the mind and the sense of separative existence is a problem? Why not get to the root of that and realize that we're not actually separate, that we've always been what we are and always will be. So this meditation won't take the place of other meditations. And this will just be a short one, but I hope that this serves as a good introduction to those who've never practiced it before or to those who have but are still unable to do it consistently. So you can do this, do this practice every day. Do, listen to this video and watch it just every day. That's what I did. I, uh, even long after I was initiated, I still had a hard time st sitting for 30 minutes a day every day, but I decided I was going to commit to do that to doing that every day and I did and so I would have to listen to audio tapes or guide meditations or YouTube videos just like this. Now just a little bit of information on meditating how to do it. If you can sit with your spine straight that's what you want. Sit in a seat if you're a Westerner or European. If you didn't grow up in Asia or in India or sitting cross-legged don't expect to just be able to do that first try comfortably. Okay, so and if you don't have a hatha yoga practice, then you need to sit in a chair. Don't, don't try to act like you can do that when you can't. So, sit in a chair. Let let the so let yourself sit at the edge of the chair too, if you can, the edge of the seat, so that you're not like sunken in like this. You want the belly to be able to expand easily, and inwardly look out as if you're gazing slightly up and off as if looking at a mountain. Now, just breathe naturally with me. If your eyes aren't closed, go ahead and close your eyes. Turn your attention within. Open your mind and your heart to the infinite, to God. However God is real to you, there must be some reality that is greater than your own self. When you look out in the world, this creation is innately intelligent. The trees grow up towards the light. Everything is reaching towards the light. What is this intelligence behind all of creation? Acknowledge that and honor that. Seek to know it. Let your breath be your anchor as you become calmer and calmer. We honor the saints and sages of all enlightenment traditions. If you have a yoga tradition, a lineage, acknowledge them now. At this time I'll acknowledge my yoga lineage, Mavatara Babaji, Lari Mashai, Sri Yukteswar, Paramahansa Yogananda, all their successors.
Honor your own innate divinity. Acknowledge that your essence of being is pure awareness, pure consciousness, ever new bliss, ananda. your awareness rise up to the space between the heart, between the dorsal blades. You can even pull the dorsal blades back a bit to get a feeling sensation there. The sounds come and distract you. Let them come and go. Just accept them all as part of the self. And you can rest here a moment or you can move your awareness up. Be right here, the space between the eyebrows. Have your awareness just looking off and out as if you were gazing at a mountain far away. Not straining, but just slightly looking up. And this will keep your awareness from falling back down to the lower chakras and getting caught up in lower invasive thought forms. Let's introduce a mantra now. We're going to mentally speak the sound so when we inhale, and then mentally speak the sound hum when we exhale. So hum. So on the inhale, hum on the exhale. Don't be concerned what it means. Just focus on the sound. the top and the bottom of the breath. Notice the stillness. No thoughts. And then when you inhale, so again. Exhale. Hum. Sorry about that. Sounds and distractions will inevitably come up when you're meditating. Again, just attribute them, give them 
the same importance that you give anything. They're just an aspect of the all-pervading life, have no real meaning or value independently on their own. And in that way, they're less distracting. This is also helpful when songs get stuck in your head or other things just getting stuck in the mind. Remember this tip that the value of a thought will have to do with whether that thought comes in and out of your mind easily. So if you impress more value to a song that's stuck in your head, it only becomes more stuck in your head. If you impress more value or more anger or just think more about phones, phone calls distracting you, then they will only distract you more. And if you just ignore them, then soon their value in your mind diminishes and so then you forget they're even there. Now back to the mantra. So, um, Thoughts distract you, go back to the mantra. So, um, so, um. Notice yourself becoming clearer and calmer. Thoughts are less invasive. You can slowly let the mantra dissolve once you've reached this peaceful state of stillness.
And now just abide in this stillness that's revealed to you. It's always here. We just need to redirect ourselves back to it. Now that you're in a still state, contemplate your essence of being. What are you, really? Are you these thoughts that are always changing? Are you this body that's always changing? What is it that hasn't changed? What about that awareness? That same witnessing awareness when you were a seven-year-old child that you had that was just watching. And again when you were 17 and now you're 37 or 47. That same witnessing consciousness. What is that? Is that you? The answer may not come now, it may come later when you're doing your dishes or doing chores. But after we've gotten into a calm state with mantra, that is a good time to contemplate your essence. Or to contemplate anything really. Before we conclude, take a moment to just be grateful for the love that you have in your life, whether it's just conditional love for or from a person, or whether it's approaching unconditional love that has no bounds. Just be grateful for the love you have in your life, and be grateful for all that you have in your life. And it can be helpful to visualize the planet Earth and just radiate compassionate goodwill to all beings everywhere. Impersonally, without exception, even those who have wronged you, radiate goodwill, selfless well-wishing to all beings everywhere in all realms.
as you go about your day know that you have the full support of the universe and of nature and of God's grace Om Shanti Shanti Hari Om Shanti May absolute peace pervade the universe Om. So that's a simple 20 minute meditation. I will upload other meditations in the future. Thank you.